What is up guys? This is Random Rom Playthroughs back here with a brand new Let's Play. Celebrating the purchase of my capture card, which I am thrilled about. We are gonna be let's playing one of my favorite games, the PlayStation 2, which is Ratchet and Clank. So, this game is awesome. I love it very, very much. So we're gonna go ahead and start a new game. Get right into it. That file right there is, is a previous file, so I'll see you after the cutscenes. Final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. Well then, that's an interesting little start to this game. And with that, welcome to Ratchet and Clank, everybody. This game is one of my favorite games of all time. So we're just going to take a look at Ratchet. Say hello to Ratchet. And I don't want to hear from Gadgetron. Gadgetron is basically the tutorial, and what Ratchet's got in his hand right now is his huge wrench. So, without further ado, let's go check out that crash. Beat up these frogs and take these bolts which is the currency in this game and these planets by you can get them by breaking boxes pretty much anywhere so let me just show you where there's some more boxes and back in this room which is just full of boxes and it also has a poster of big guy captain quark and how i entered that mode right there was i went i pressed r l1 sorry i don't know left and right don't you judge me, I'm here to play games, not know which direction is which. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, I got a capture card, and I, I'm sure some of you saw it, I made a vote video. And uh, the votes were cast, but, um, and uh, Ratchet and Clank ended up being the winner. And I am going to be Let's Playing Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom after this, so if I cannot get Sacred Goal to work, it will go right up after Minish Cap is done. If I can, then it'll go up after Sacred Gold. Hopefully, hopefully I can get Sacred Gold working again, because I really want to finish that series. So, let's keep making our way down here, picking up more bolts. One thing I do like about this game is that money is not hard to come by at all. You can buy something and then have your money replenished very, very quickly. 
but we will need money to buy various different things, most of them weapons, as you can see. Right now we have our basic wrench, which we can throw by holding R1 and square, which I'm going to do right now, and our look around mode, except I'm not actually going to hit them because I'm a spaz. Now I'm going to hit one of them. Got him. Now if you press the circle button, you can enter your weapons, and we have the bomb glove, which Go figure, it is a glove that stores and holds bombs. Stores and holds, that makes no sense. Those are the, two, those are the same thing. So whatever, we're going to just go ahead and break these boxes. That's a recurring theme in this Let's Play, is breaking boxes. Alright, you might notice that this box is different and it's cool. That's because, this, this is the one time I will let you listen to Gadgetron. So what, what does that mean? That is our life, our energy, our hit points, call it whatever you like, it's, it's what keeps us alive. So for example, let's show every video game ever. This dude hurts us, we go by nanotech, go near nanotech actually, and it heals us. So before we go back down that tunnel, just gonna go over here and break some more boxes. But yeah, I love this game and it's... My PlayStation 2, my game collection is not that fantastic, but I do have this game, and it's a game I know very well, and I want to let's play this game. I've always, I've wanted to let's play this game for a long time, and I figured now that I finally got a capture card, might as well break it in with some, with a series I can do and I've wanted to do for a long time. I gotta say. If you own a PS2 and this game is not in your collection, I've really got I got to call into question why. Because this game is amazing. I absolutely love it. And <laughs> I remember never getting far in it because I was when I first got my PS2, it was back in the days where you had to rent them. Rent games. My mom and dad never bought us games. We just had to rent them. Well, whatever. I finally bought it. Shut up, I know how to use the bomb glove Gadgetron. Like so. You press the circle button and it auto-aims. Beautiful. Look at all the currency. See, I told you, we're already all, almost at 1500 bolts. Okay, so you're going to want to throw the bombs at these guys. These enemies are pretty easy. But if you're not prepared, they can be difficult. These are like the easiest enemies in the entire game though. Which makes sense because this is basically... The first few levels are basically tutorial stages. As per usual. You won't want a video game without tutorials! God no. Alright, so we have arrived at the crash scene. And what, there's a few more nuts. But what is that? Right there. Can I hit it? Nope. Alright, let's go see what that is. And this is going to trigger cutscene, so I'll see you after the cutscene. Interesting. Yay! You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens of... My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Drek, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. 
Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. Cut! And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Well, turn it off, you idiot! <laughs> The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Deal. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you could stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on! So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this! Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Clank? Where are you? Oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. Thanks to Ratchet's fantastic piloting, we're now stuck here with no ship. And it doesn't look like there's too many people sticking around to help us out. So what are we gonna do? Gotta get off this planet somehow, because Dr Chairman Drek is gonna... Total it. Oh boy. Looks like we're in some pro trouble. Trouble. I can speak. Well, all those questions will be answered in the next episode. So, with that, guys, I have been Random Round Playthroughs. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and a comment as well as subscribe for more videos like this one. As well, you can check out my. Don't forget to check out my Facebook and Twitter pages as well as follow me on Twitch and, U and YouTube. Wow and Twitch TV and Livestream.com. Links are all in the description below. Until next time, guys, I am signing off.